What's that you got cooking? Apple do stew with apple do's. Hmm. Didn't we have that yesterday? Or the day before? No. Yesterday it was baked apple do with apple do's. And the day before it was fried apple do's. With apple do's. <sighs> I remember now. Sorry, I'm doing what I can to switch up our meals. But in my defense, we have a pretty limited set of ingredients. I wasn't complaining. I'm glad that you're doing the cooking. Otherwise I'd be eating, I guess, <laughs> apple juice. <laughs> oh, did you have a chance to look at the engine? Yeah. It does seem like it took some damage upon landing, but I should be able to fix that real quick. I also have some good news. What's that? I love you. Oh, with the lights off? Works for me. Uh, no. I didn't do that. Ugh, we must have run out of flow. Weren't you supposed to charge up the nest today? Excuse me if I was working on the engine. I can't do everything. No worries. I'll go get some more outside. If I'm lucky, I'll stumble upon something to spice up the apple dews. <gasps> I'll come with you. Red. Although it seems like one thread won't be enough. No worries, we'll find out. How many more do you think we need? Whoops. Try again. Oh, sorry birds. We didn't see you. Good thing there are plenty of flow threads around here. Well, that was a bust. We were too slow. No biggie. Plenty of threads out there. It allows you to change direction without having to stop all the time. Do I do that? We all do it.
One or two more threads, and we'll be all set. Apple juice again! Who knows how long we're gonna be stuck here? We might as well stock up. This is a pretty one. I'm all charged up. Me too. But we can go when you're ready. Make sure they don't get squished. Have you ever seen such a thing? No, never. Must be an endemic species. And I know it wasn't here yesterday. I mean, 24 hours ago. You know what I'm saying. I wonder if it's edible. Go ahead, taste it. Why should I be the one to test it? Your body mass is higher, so you have better resistance to poison. And also, you saw them first. I wouldn't dream of stealing the discovery from you. Think about it. You'll be the first person in the universe to ingest these berries. If you won't do it for us, please do it for science, Kay. Okay. For science. <coughs> Is it that bad? Nope. Ooh, no. It's just very peppery. Let me taste. <laughs> oh yeah. These are good, actually. You really have an infant's palate. Off we go. Let's pick these. I'm not sure these will go great with the apple dews. But where there's a meal, there's a way. You know what doesn't go great with apple dews? Apple dews. Off we go. It isn't ripe yet.
all good. This should last us a few days. Now it's our turn to fill up. Huh? I'm hungry. I don't get it. People always make a big deal about salty sweet, but never peppery sweet, which it turns out is delicious. Anything would seem delicious to you, seeing your diet in the last few days. True, but don't let that take away from your cooking talents. You're just wanting to finish my plate, aren't you? <laughs> Since you're offering. How long do you think this is going to last? The flow? Well, if we keep our consumption in check, I think a few days. No, I meant us. Us here. How long until they come get us? Ah, uh, do we have to talk about this? No, we don't have to. Good. Because if I'm being forced to do things against my will, just like before, then I don't know why I came all the way here. And FYI, you are the one that ruined the mood, not me. Need anything? No. Huh. Me neither. You? All right. Let's talk about it. Fine. Uh, I was just gonna ask if you could switch off the light. Oh. You've been mulling it over this whole time? Of course I've been mulling it over this whole time. Thank you for adding one more thing to my mind. Hold on, are you telling me you hadn't thought about it before? You know what? No, I hadn't thought about it. I'm trying not to think about the apiary. Enjoy what we have here, even if it isn't much. Um, Do you really think that they can come get us here? If we could take the flow bridge here, then so can they. But there's no way they can know where we are, is there? I cut off the auto nav, the astrolock, even the landing was all manual. I'm just saying, let's prepare for the worst. At worst, I kill them. Whoa, you. What? If that's what it takes not to go back, I'll do it. No problem. Kill them, steal their ship. By the time they send more guys, We'll be far away. You're seriously not considering... Maybe not. Maybe I am. At worst, we'll know. You're scaring me. <laughs> oh, come on. You're totally safe. You're my teddy bear. I'm not sure how I should take this. <laughs> well, take me in your arms for a start.
You aren't dressed yet? I put on my pajamas. I mean, to get out. Well, see, I was just wondering, do we have to get out? Can't we just hang in the nest for once? Lounge around, read a book, watch a movie? We don't have movies. Right, sure, but you know what I mean. Come on, the weather's great. But the weather is always great. For now. Who knows, tomorrow could be the beginning of the long winter months. It could last for years. One more reason to stock up on apple juice. Mm. You know, always being right is not necessarily a good quality. On the contrary, many people find it very unappealing. You? Not sure. As if I feel sleepy right now. Do you need anything? No. Huh. Me neither. Wow. These floating islands are really something. Yeah. Never imagined I would ever see this. Do you remember where the apple dews were? Can we try and pick something else for a change? All right, go! I got a big one. Is it me or is the ground shaking? It's shaking. It's shaking a lot! Is it over? Seems like it. A anything broken? No. No, I don't think so. <sighs> well, except... <sighs> it's not all lost. Well, it is. A bit. Look. We can always search the islet, try and find a way to get to the other side. Such as? I, I don't know. A, a rope. A jetpack. Spring-loaded shoes. Anything. I don't want to be stuck here. It sucks. <sighs> Me neither. That's why we'll have to find something. Okay. Coming through! We'll need to wait a little bit for it to grow. I, uh... I think I found something. Call me crazy, but this looks like a bluten. Yep, it looks like a flow bridge. Kind of like the one we took to get here, but smaller? Is that possible?
Why not? We still don't really know how the flow bridges work in space, but if the phenomenon can happen on a macro scale, then why not on this one? If there can be flow between two planets, why not two bits of a planet? Okay. If this really is a flow bridge, I'm not sure what we're waiting for. What? Flow bridges are linking one place to another, right? So this one definitely leads someplace. Wait, y you want to just get on there without knowing where it goes? It goes elsewhere. I think that's as good a start as any. Huh. Um... Do we have everyone? Okay? Here. <laughs> then we're good. Looks like we're on another islet. Yeah. The bridge seems to be a link between the islets. If there are any others like this, we may be able to get back to the nest. Move it, Muffin! I thought it smelled good around here. Seems like our mini flow bridge wasn't a unique occurrence. Good, because those things are really useful. Do you see what I'm seeing? Uh, a big ugly lizard? No, the mushrooms on its back. Looks like a type of hygrocybrubicins. Ah, is that good news? Like, can we eat it? Oof, not at all. Unless you're looking for a quick way to unload your kidneys. But don't you find that symbiosis amazing? The movements of the lizard are helping spread the spores. As far as what the lizard is gaining, I'll have to study that closer. Maybe it doesn't even know. Maybe we should tell it. No way. You don't get in the way. Time you have salad stuck in your teeth. We almost missed this one. For here or to go? To go. Too bad. Are you following?
Now I'm hungry. I know, right? Yum. where we came from. All right, I know. Actually, what is that? We should take a closer look. Hey! Wait for me! Any idea what's underneath our feet, Mr. Geologist? I'm a biologist. Isn't that the same thing? Biology, the living, geology, the rocks. And what makes you think this is not living, pray tell? Uh, it looks like a dust deposition. Some kind of rust. And it looks like this kind of rust is particularly sensitive to flow. What? Look beneath your feet. Oh, there's vegetation underneath. It was probably smothered. Good thing we came this way. That way. Look! Great. We can bring that back to the nest to study it. Rust! Saw that. It could always be useful. Another bit of rust for your collection? Oh, cool. I don't have this. Even the apple dew shrubs are completely covered. I hope this one will yield some nice and juicy fruit to thank us.
we should find the nest if we keep going north. Explain to me how you know which way north is on this planet. Uh, we should find the nest if we keep going straight ahead. <laughs> Thank you. We're too heavy. Nah, this aerial threat is just too fragile. Another one. nuts? Aren't we the lucky ones? Uh, what are they? You've never heard of boba nuts? They're one of the most nutritious nuts. 25% carbohydrates, 50% protein, 75% lipids. That adds up to 150%. Precisely. A great mystery of modern science. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Maybe. But once you have a taste of my boba salad, you will forget all about it. I thought this planet was supposed to be a desert. Deserted. Not a desert. According to the archives, a colonization plan had been considered by the apiary, with Exanova as the main provider. But the planet was eventually classified as inhospitable. Let me guess. High seismic activity? I don't know. The file doesn't say anything about that. Hmm. I hope we don't have any more unpleasant surprises. Come on! Grow, little bud! You can do it! We're out! Let's give them time to ripen a bit. This is so slow. We're not going anywhere. So?
We're here! We found the nest! But in what state? Last one there is a moldy apple dew. That's impressive. We can fly too. We're gonna get stuffed. What's that noise? Ugh, my stomach. It needs to be fed soon. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is no way this thing is flying again. Don't say that. You could make a rock fly with the right tools. Well, maybe. But not this one. Both wings are wasted. The propellers were ripped off. And I'm not even done checking the inside. We weren't really planning on leaving, were we? We don't really have another place to go anyway. I'm tired. Why are we always so unlucky? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Hold on. We decide to escape the Apiary, which apparently no one has managed to do before us. We punch in some coordinates really at random, only because some obscure document from Exanova vaguely attested to the existence of a habitable planet. By some kind of miracle, we cross the boundaries of the apiary without getting caught. We travel across space in a Class D ship that is totally not designed for that. And in spite of the fact that this is not all terrain, we land without breaking anything. We find food and flow on site even though we hadn't really planned for it. Finally, we get hit with an earthquake, all right, but we get out of it unscathed. The only real consequence is that the nest is a little bit busted. <laughs> and you think that we're unlucky? You. We are the luckiest people in the universe. That's... that's one way to see it. This planet is our chance to start a new life. With our own rules. Away from the apiary, from the matchmaker and all that bloot. And I'd rather endure a thousand earthquakes than risk being away from you. What did you say this planet was called again? Source. Source. The beginning of something. Seems like it. Did we miss, or did it break? It broke. Okay. What? Everything slow motion. <laughs> you goof. Whoa, what a mess. And now the nest is all akimbo. This feels weird. Yeah, we'll need to find a way to correct that. But it can wait until tomorrow. I think we've had our share for the day. We deserve some time to relax. If you know what I mean. 
You can do whatever you want, but I am going to bed. Wow, these floating islands are really something. Yeah, never imagined I would ever see this. I'm not hungry. I never thought I would hear you say that in my whole life. I guess my stomach has a deep connection to the nest condition. Do you want to tidy up a bit? No. Tomorrow. I don't feel strong enough right now. I'm not hungry. I never thought I would hear you say that in my whole life. I guess my stomach has a deep connection to the nest condition. Come on. Let's go to bed instead. I've had enough for this day. Do you need anything? No. Huh. Me neither. <gasps> you okay? Uh, you? Wake up! <gasps> It's okay. I'm here. <sighs> that was just a nightmare. Everything's fine. That... that wasn't a nightmare. Sure it was. <laughs> Rest easy. No! I was awake. I, I could hear you. I just couldn't move or yell. I couldn't breathe. It was horrible. Yeah, seemed like it was. Do you want my opinion? I'm not a dream expert or anything, but... It wasn't a dream. I wasn't sleeping. My eyes were wide open. No, your eyes were closed. I'm telling you, they were open. I saw everything. You, the, the room, everything. Okay. Okay. What I meant was that it may have been because of the nest. What? You said you couldn't move. You were nailed to the bed. A bit like the nest which is stuck to the ground, right? You've been flying in this thing for years. I bet you're upset to see it in this condition. Huh. No kidding. Which means that if we fix up the nest, this'll all go away? Could be. <laughs> Worst case scenario, the nest will be fixed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope we'll eventually find the missing parts then. So I can get fixed up too. All right. Now we can see a lot clearer. Yeah, we're not there yet, but that should do the trick for now. Now we just need to figure out how to level the nest. The tractor globe is probably done charging. Let's bring it outside. Do you think it'll be enough to lift it? I hope so, because I have no idea what else we can do. What are you looking at? The distance between us and the apiary. I wouldn't expect it to change. Exactly. It's comforting.
Okay. Yes. Can we cook something? What? Did we already eat everything? Yeah. Okay. Can we cook something? What? Did we already eat everything? Yeah. There's kind of an apple dew taste. It's in there. Hey, you never told me. What did your mate look like? Eh, I don't know. Didn't you get her file from the matchmaker? Yeah, I did. But I never really looked at it. Seriously? You're not even curious? Well, no. <laughs> I already knew you. <laughs> Whatever. Come on, we'll look at it together. If you wish. Oh, all right. Any other pictures? Yeah. Hmm. 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 She's kind of cute. You think so? Yeah, definitely. Don't you? I don't know. Too much makeup, I think. I like a more natural look. Like yours. Mm-hmm. Do you really think I'm not wearing any kind of makeup right now? Um... <laughs> Come on. Let's check her profile instead of this foolishness. Let's see. Interests. Reading, music, having a drink with my friends. Whoa. Do you think you can handle such a strong personality? <laughs> That's harsh. Job. Ocean Biology Research Assistant at the University of Ox. Huh. Okay. Looks like you two are made for each other. No one is made for each other. That's the kind of rhetoric the matchmaker uses. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But it still looks to me like that was a bloating good pick. You'd make a great couple. Might have made. There's a difference. Uh, tell me. Are you really wearing makeup right now? <laughs> we spend every waking minute together in the nest. If I discreetly slipped into the bathroom every morning to put on some eyeliner, don't you think you'd notice? <laughs> yeah, at least I think. But you're not really answering my question though. I know. It did feel a bit weird at first, but now I can't even tell the nest is tilted. I guess I got used to it. What? No, 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 no. You cannot get used to it. We're gonna get the nest out of this crevasse. I don't want to get used to it. It did feel a bit weird at first, but now I can't even tell the nest is tilted. I guess I got used to it. What? No, 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 no. You cannot get used to it. We're going to get the nest out of this crevasse. I don't want to get used to it.
if we grabbed a little snack for the road? Huh. Sounds good. I'll bring the first aid kit as well. Just in case. <laughs> Did it move? No, I don't think so. Balding Blunt! Oh, it's over. It's not going back straight. We'll never be able to fix it. We are condemned to living on an incline in a broken ship forever. Until our body adapts and one of our legs starts shrinking to even us out. That's not how things work. I know that's not how things work. Nothing is working the way it should. Especially not this bloating tractal globe. Poor thing is doing what it can. It wasn't designed to lift ships in the first place. I know. But I was hoping it would go the extra mile. Right now, the batteries drain out even before lifting the nest off the ground. What if we plugged it into a flow spring? I thought about that. But we'd have to be able to seal the pipe shut. Unfortunately, I don't think they make gaskets for flow springs from a distant planet. Perhaps we can make one. With what? Paper mache? Remember yesterday when I told you that rust scatters when it comes in contact with flow? We could use that feature to sculpt the gasket out of pieces of rust. You could do that? I don't think I could sculpt a nude statue of you or a super complex component, but molding a gasket? That seems doable. That's awesome! <laughs> Hold on, let's not start pushing before the panties are pulled down. Excuse me? You've never heard of that saying? No. Uh, must be a truth thing then. That means let's not celebrate before we... Yeah, yeah. I got it. Anyway, how much rust do you need in order to... <laughs> pull the panties down? Uh, I don't know. Four or five blocks like those we already got? Okay. So, let's try and find that. <laughs> you know, sweet old tractor globe Doing its best. Even though it'll never work without a new gasket. Off we go. You know, you can use these boots for drifting. It makes faster turns. Sorry. I'm still not completely used to this model. This way is also full of rust. Not for long. Here, another big chunk. We probably should grab some more, just to be sure. Okay? For sure. Great! We're stacking up.
my batteries are empty. Mine too. We need to find a flow thread. Sorry, I kind of missed my U-turn. We'll do better next time. FYI, I'm still running on empty. This one is nice and ripe. Isn't this the bridge we took to get here? It is. just happened it broke seems like our anti-grav boots aren't powerful enough to lift us up oh yeah I forgot the gasket Scared them. <laughs> that was the wrong way. I won't be able to fix the nest if we don't pull it out of this hole first.
Coming through. Be careful. These creatures don't seem to be in their right mind. I did notice that. should be able to pacify it. Copy that. You know what to do. Yep. One left. Eat that. All right. That's it. <sighs> Are you all right? First we weaken it, then we pacify it. Target. Okay. It's settled down. Now's the time. There you go. The end. And now he's back to being sweet. Seems like it was the rust that made him aggressive. I'd do the same if I were them. What? Think about it this way. You wake up in the morning with a rash covering your body. If you scratch it, it gets worse. If you don't scratch it, it still gets worse. Of course you're gonna lash out first chance you get. I don't think this is the same thing. Of course it is. Tell her Oink. Tell Kay that I'm right. Oink. His name is Oink now. Come on. Just a little more rust and we'll be set. That's enough rust to cobble up your tractor glove joint. Are we leaving then? Ready when you are. Time to go. It's not ready. We know what's that way. Saving those for later? Of course! You turn! It doesn't work if you warn me after you turn. What does she want? You started it! Nice one! Woo! Nice shot! <sighs> Let's get it over with! And dodge this! Ooh. See you around! Keep them coming! Ooh. Oh, bloot! Bam! That didn't seem to bother him much. Great job! You're welcome! One left! I don't even think he felt that. 
Kill target. He didn't like that too much. You stop. Oh, come on. Dodge this one. Your turn. Boom, baby. One down. We're that good. Into the back. I'm going. Who's with me? I am. And more rust. You can never have too much. Still need rest? Of course. It's always useful. Watch out. I'm not sure our boots will fare too well in the water. Oh, could they get damaged? No way. They're waterproof. But you won't exactly grip the track underwater. That's better. What is better? Oh, nothing. Right for the picking. Are, oh. are you alright? Got this? You bet I do. Shield up. See you around. Take that. Great job. Oh, yeah. One left. Hey. You, you? Yep. Saw that. No need to hammer it in. Let's just pacify. The end. Change our strategy. It's useless. Let's try something else. <laughs> You're too eager. <laughs> okay, so he hates this. <laughs> you go, girl. What? You're too slow. Bam! Booyah! <laughs> Woo! 
are getting left. This one's ready. Should I'm we off. pacify instead? Done and done. Yes. Another thing from home. How many do you think Exanova built before they realized it wouldn't work? Two already seems like a lot. Throwing money around isn't exactly within the company culture. Neither is canceling a project for that matter. I'm not surprised that everyone remained discreet about this whole failed colonization business. I am surprised by the fact my mom has never mentioned it to me. I don't think Exanova wins colonization contracts on the regular. These buildings look kind of old. Your mom may not have been head of the company then. She may not have been with the company at all. Yeah, that's possible. Still, it's weird. Agreed. I guess we'll figure it out eventually. Come on, this way! This one's a little rotten, isn't it? You're a little rotten. Huh? Sorry, it was a reflex. Do you see what I'm seeing? What? Straight ahead. An aerial flow thread. Oh, yeah. Do you think it could carry us all the way up there? Only one way to find out. Seems like that's the highest we'll get. That wasn't too far off. Look, there's another bridge over there. Ugh. I wanted to go all the way up. We'll have to lay off the apple dews then. Taking off. Uh, are we eating soon? Are you already hungry? I'm just looking ahead. Oh, did you feel that? What? Like a tremor. No, I wasn't paying attention. I hope I imagined it. Do we agree this thing does not look very natural? Yeah. It's probably satellite debris or a rocket propeller? This part of space is a real dump. I don't know. This stone circle around it still looks weird to me. This? These aren't stones. They're Briam's Mollus Molus. Bloofs, for short. Bloofs? Yeah, because when you sit on them, it goes. I like. Huh. Oh. Huh. Huh. <sighs> I think I could fall asleep right here. You? Ah. Uh, you? <gasps> Who? What? I told you I'm not going back! Go bloot yourselves! You... it's me. I think you fell asleep. Oh... sorry. These bloofs are way too comfortable. You can't leave me here. <laughs> if we ever need to sleep under the stars, we'll know where to come.
You know what we should have packed? Marshmallows? My guitar! You... have a guitar? Well, yeah. Where is it? At my house. On top. Well, I guess these days I can't really call it my house. Or even say it's my guitar. I didn't know that you played. To be honest, I wouldn't really say that I play. My mother's had me take courses when I was little. I took them for two years and then I got tired. I never touched it again. I even called it an old-timey instrument. <laughs> but, I don't know. Now, with the campfire and everything... Hmm. I wish I could pull it out. Oh, I would have played along on the harmonica. <gasps> because you play the harmonica? No. But since we're imagining things, let's just run with it. Yeah, you're right. I can already picture it. We could have founded a band! The number one band on Source. A Yuki! It's an anagram of you and K. Yeah, I got that. I was thinking more along the lines of... The Flow Phantasm. Very poetic. Isn't it? Why not? Bite the rust. <laughs> not bad. Mm, dual flow. Acrocillin blues. Ten thousand pieces. Fugue. <gasps> Apple dew stew. Oh yeah, I definitely like that. We are so apple dew stew now. We'll bring the house down. I think we have enough rust to plug the tractor globe. Okay then. What are we waiting for? Are you following? I had washed my hair this morning. Should we take a break? Indeed. <sighs> if you told me one day I'd be millions of lumsack from the apiary watching rocks flying by. Beautiful, isn't it? I'd say intriguing. I'm trying to figure out how it works. I'm pretty sure you don't know how nucleosynthesis works either. But you can still appreciate the stars in the sky. That's true. <sighs> it could be worse. Yeah. Actually, this is all thanks to the matchmaker. What? Think about it. Imagine the matchmaker had put us together. We would have spent our boring lives in the apiary without surprise. And we would have never ended up here. Together. Watching rocks flying by. I don't care about these rocks. All I care about is being with you. Here, in the apiary, in deep space, or at the bottom of a hole. It's all the same to me. It's all decorative. Some decor are a bit nicer than others, though. Yeah, but that's... What's that phrase you use in sciences? Oh yeah, negligible amounts.
other way? As you wish. And we're out. That's it. That was the last one. Clearly. We're breathing a lot easier without all this rust. Mmm. Not bad. Hey, that's for cooking. Muffin. I'm not sure what his toy did to him, but I wouldn't like to be in its place. Hold on. Isn't that... What? Let's get a closer look. Doesn't sound like a good idea. Okay. It would seem that he's not going to share his toy. What did I tell you? Aren't landing. Maybe if we both attacked at the same time. Dodge this one, he's too impervious. We should coordinate our attacks. Ah, target left. All right, same attack on three. Three missed. We should try. He's too impervious. We should coordinate our attacks. We found the right technique. Three, two, one. Now! Ha! I'm sure he felt that. Ready where you are. Ready. <laughs> you want some more? On your mark? Anytime. Ready. Go! Your mark. Go, go, go! Air turn. Yep. Ready when you are. Attack the All rush. set. Not them. They calm down. Now let's pacify. Who's next? They left this toy behind. That's not a toy. Looks like. Alien machinery. I can't believe it. We have proof before our eyes. There exists, or has existed on Source, a form of intelligence at least as evolved as ours. Kay? This is a historic discovery. This is... Kay! What? It's ours. What? It's a Draca. Drone for autonomous cartography. Very old tech. The kind we sent out to beauty before it was integrated to the apiary. Oh. Seems like they pondered integrating Source for a while as well. I wonder why they changed their minds. Could be the fact that this planet is scattered like a puzzle. Probably was a factor. The Draca may hold some answers. You're kidding. No, really. Stuff from that era was built tough. 
we may be able to boot it back up. Hmm. Mm. Okay. I might have spoken a bit quickly. The flow circuits are completely fried. But... But, 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 but look at what I was able to salvage. The anti-grav chips don't seem to be damaged. I should be able to make them compatible with our boots by tweaking the connectors a bit. Whoa. Even better, the mapping module is also working perfectly. If I plug that into the glove's power source, it should... Boom! This should be very helpful for finding our way around the bits of land. <laughs> you never cease to impress me. Ah, uh, that's nothing, really. These old machines are plain and simple astronautical engineering. Not like the new stuff with boronic nano components everywhere. You... are you okay? Ugh. You know, I am starting to get tired of being beat up by every critter that comes around. Should I carry you? No, that's fine. I can walk on my own. Although if you have some heavy-duty pain meds, I, I wouldn't turn them down. All right. I guess it's time for me to do what I do best. Snuggle? I was more thinking about gathering strange plants with medicinal properties. We already have some medic kits. Oh yeah, we do. Then I guess we just need to find a place to lay low and care for your injuries. So, that way we can map out the different bits? Yeah. And with this, we can make our way back to the nest a lot easier. Hey, look! It says there's another bridge in this area. Perfect. That way we can test if your thingy works. <laughs> Don't turn around. But I think we're being followed. What? That looks bad. Woo! Are you all right? You? Yep. Saw that. You block. I'll hit. Ugh. You. Great job. Woo! <sighs> wow. Chill. How? I'm coming. Ugh. Sorry, Kay. You! It's gonna be okay. Uh, if you say so. Uh. Are you alright? Awesome! Uh, this one's ready. You started it. He's right for the picking. It's too late now. No need. They're ready. Ready? Let's do this. Well done. That was easy. Hey, are you sure they canceled the colonization? Because we've come across a lot of infrastructure at this point. I'm just telling you what I read in the archives. Could it be that the archives are... Lying? Hmm. Uh, of course they could be. There's still more. Did I just see that thing eat up a flow thread? Sure did. That's probably why these creatures don't seem affected by the rust. Good for them, but I hope they're sparing some for others. Us, namely.
Why'd you stop? I have a stowaway on my sleeve. A bug? Better. A seed. It must have hooked on when we brushed past the plant. And it just so happens it chose the one with the green thumb. Clever seed. Natural selection doing its work. Do you think you're gonna plant it? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know why I asked. If we find enough of them, we could start a little vegetable patch at the nest. I vote yes. Motion approved unanimously. Just need to find some more seeds. Easy enough, don't you think? Not so sure. If these plants have few natural predators, they might have somewhat of a slow reproductive process. We'll just need to keep an eye out. You can count on me. <sighs> what? Nothing. I just can't imagine you spotting seeds right out of the wilderness. Says the guy who's incapable of finding his stuff when it's right under his nose. That's not the same. I mean, plants are kind of my specialty. So? I know what a seed looks like, don't I? Certainly. I'm sure I'll find more than you. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Wanna bet? Don't tempt me. Let's go! Come on, let's keep going. Do you think we'll have enough? We never have enough. Right on! Seems like the radar is working. Are you surprised? You didn't miss much. You know what to do. I'm killed. Let's get it open. Oh. On your mark. Anytime. Dodge this one. This one's ready. You started it. You? Yep. It's too late now. Now that should do it. Now shoot. Make a good team.
little more rust? Don't mind if I do. Been there. Well, yeah, that's where we came from. Your mark? Go, go, go! You know what to do. Yep. Are you okay? That'll teach him. Ready? That. Bam! On your mark? Anytime. It's right before the picking. Harvest time. Turn. Take that! Oh, come on! One left. Hey. Awesome! This one. Oh. Ow. Hey, that's cheating! You? Yep. Saw that. One down. That's how we rock! All clean. This is weird. What is? It looks like there's also a pre-recorded location on the radar. Huh. What could it be? I don't know. Little Draco's favorite picnic spot? In that case, we definitely have to check it out. I'm going. Who's with me? I am. Hey, isn't that Oink? That is definitely him. That's Oink. What's happening, big guy? Why are you here? You missed us, didn't you? I bet he felt lonely on his empty eyelid. You do realize that we can't take you along on our journeys, don't you? That would be too exhausting for you. But you can stay with us next to the nest if you want. <laughs> no funny business, though. Come back! We're not gonna eat you! Why would they think that? So 
so? Well, it fits. That's a good sign. Let's get this ball rolling. What? What? Haven't you heard of that one either? Oh no, I have. It's just a really old-fashioned saying. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, that's worse. Can you just switch on the track to globe, please? <laughs> okay. worked! We did it. Now, we just need to fix up the wings and the turbine and the hypopropellers and... Don't be so cynical. Getting the nest out of the crevasse was quite a feat. Huh? No, don't get me wrong. I am genuinely delighted. I love fixing things up. But I don't think we need to get started right away. <sighs> That's a relief. Mm. This isn't going to go very far without rust. Come on, give me your boots. Once I plug in these chips, they'll be like a whole new pair. I can barely figure out left and right as they are. So, how are the repairs coming along? Uh, I've done everything I can, but I'm missing some parts and can't move on. What kind of parts? A bit of everything. The thing is that I'm not looking for very precise models or anything. I can always adapt, but I'm still gonna need some more gear. Well, I hope we'll find everything we need in this area then. We ought to. I am gonna kill them. I swear I am gonna kill them. Are you sure you don't want to take a break, get some fresh air? No! These bloating anti-grav chips aren't the boss of me! I still don't understand what the problem is. The problem is, there is such a thing as a standard. And the Borons who designed this drone thought it might be fun to improve this standard. Except, if you take a standard and improve upon it, you get... Two standards? Zero standard! <sighs> and so now, it looks like I have to machine these boron chips. Just so they can fit in these bloating boots. Uh, anything I can do to help? No, I'm okay. I'm done. What? But that was super quick. Well, yeah, when you have the right tools. I mean, since you were complaining, I was thinking that it would take a while. It's a matter of principle. Let's go. We'll see if these work outside. Ready to test these bad boys? I guess. What are we doing? Okay, follow the thread as usual, except this time we should be able to make it till the end. Come on, this way!
Obviously, it doesn't work as well if we're not paying attention. Whoops. Try again. Space, but floating a few feet above the ground is awesome? Uh, awesomeness is very subjective, you. In any case, these boots are working. We should try them with that thread we weren't able to use last time. Do you remember where it was? The mapping module certainly does. All right, give me those medical plants of yours. Time to fire up the synthesizer. With this thing, we'll be right back on our feet. Are you sure you know how? I have a synthesizer in my ship. Of course I know how these work. Uh, no, wait, that's not the way. I know what I'm doing. Really? Because at this stage, you should... Ugh, look, I've always done it this way, and it's always worked out. You're not going to tell me how to use my own synthesizer. All right. All right, as you wish. Aha! There! What do you say about that? All right. I didn't know you could also do it that way. And? Sorry I doubted you. And? Uh, I love you? Okay, that's not what I was expecting, but it'll do. Where are we right now? Hmm, there about. That's the best I can guess without Astrolock. Do you really think that reactivating it could be dangerous? Let's just say, I'd prefer not to risk it. Alright, you can open your eyes. Surprise anniversary! Huh? <laughs> I meant to say surprise and then I thought, happy anniversary, I panicked. Whose anniversary is it? It's our anniversary. One month on Source. Already? Yeah. I mean, give or take a few days. It went by fast. Yeah. Remember the time we almost died crashing on this planet? And the time we almost died in an earthquake? Ah, and the time we almost died fighting that critter? I hope this is only the beginning. And that I'll have many more chances to almost die with you. Aren't you a charmer? So, are you going to open your present? Well, our present. Sure, sure. Uh-huh. What is it? Fermented apple dews. I stuck them in the soaker tub to accelerate the process. I'm calling it apple brew. Hmm. Do you think that it's any good? Well, worst case scenario, we just wasted some apple dews. No big deal. Should we open it now? We can open it whenever you want. To us. 
to us. Hey, that's really good, actually. <clears throat> that's really strong, too. Do you remember the first time you talked about leaving the apiary? <laughs> of course. I'd had a shouting match with my mom. I was just angry. Oh, before that. Before? We had landed the nest on a hilltop, we were stargazing, and you said, Come on, let's go. Hmm? I haven't stopped thinking about it since that day. I think that's what pushed me to dig into the Astro Company archives, which led me to find the coordinates of Source. I wanted to be ready for the day. Wait, wait, when was that? I don't remember. Right at the beginning, you and your mom got in a fight, you hopped into the nest at night, and you picked me up at my house. Was that when we went to the uplands? Yes, the uplands. That's it. Oh, <laughs> Flute, I remember. It was in Frozember. It was super cold out. I was freezing. I just wanted to get back into the nest. That's why I said, let's go. <laughs> and since you didn't respond, I thought you wanted to stay outside. So I didn't push it. I actually caught a beast of a cold that night. Wait, so that means if I hadn't misunderstood that night... It wouldn't have changed a thing. Well, still, that means we would have never known about Source. We would have never come all the way here. Mm, I'm not buying your story. Huh? Why were we stargazing that night? You spent the entire night pointing out this and that constellation to me, wondering if there might be other inhabitable planets outside of the apiary, other forms of life. You were completely obsessed with the sky. I was even trying to open up about my issues, but you barely listened. And off you went again, chattering about the comets, the microorganisms, or whatever. So. Keeping in mind that you had access to this data about Source, and the fact that you are K, do you really think you would have never stumbled upon this planet anyway? <sighs> you might be right. <sighs> Was I really that annoying? <laughs> yes. I came to see you that night because I needed someone. I had nowhere else to go. But at the time, I regretted it. I was actually thinking it would be the last time we saw one another. But you insisted. And the following week, you came to see me in the evening with your little homemade cookies. We chatted all night. And I do believe that is when I fell in love. Which means that beforehand, we had known each other for like three weeks, Kay. Do you really think that I fell head over heels the first time I saw you? I know I fell head over heels the first time I saw you. Oh, okay. You just like my looks then. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. You mean you don't like the way I look? I have a feeling there's no right answer. Then don't answer. You? Yeah? I see you've brushed your hair in the shower again. How can you tell? It's not draining. Oh, sorry.
So, what's this rocky chunk got to say? Well, for starters, it says it's not a rock. Really? It's not living, is it? No. It's not mineral or organic. So, what is it? <laughs> Going straight to the hard questions. But that is not how science works. How does it work, then? First of all, you formulate a hypothesis. Then you build an experiment to test this hypothesis. You observe, and you learn. Okay, then what have you learned? That I'm lacking imagination regarding hypotheses? One thing we know for sure is that rust particles scatter immediately when in contact with flow. I'd like to observe this reaction more closely. You can do that next time. Right now, you should go to bed. Already? What time is it? No idea. But I know I'm sleepy. And I want my snuggles before I crash. <laughs> gotcha. And done. It's all straightened out. Everything's tidy and clean. Besides us, that is. <laughs> yeah, we are kinda stinky. Off to the shower then? Ah, oh, Blute. What is it? I just mobbed the bathroom. Oh. Do you think we can marinate another 10 to 15 minutes in our own filth? <laughs> Honestly, can do. Ready to reach some new heights? Always. Do you want to do it here, or...? Oh, no. I was referring to the boots. You know, with the anti-grav sticks, now... Ah. Oh. <laughs> but I'm sure it can wait. Improve what, exactly? Oh no! Apple brew is only for special occasions. <gasps> Who is using up all the hot water? What? Could you stop using the hot water, please? Oh yeah, uh, sorry. It's kind of a regressive dish, isn't it? Hmm? Why'd you say that? Well, you're usually more fine dining. Hmm, that's true. There's more if you want. Definitely. 18, 19, 20. Keep on going, my love, you're strong. 21, 
22. You know I'm able to count on my own, right? Yeah, but I like to watch when you do push-ups. That way I feel like I'm participating. You could also do push-ups. <laughs> no. No need for that. I am naturally muscular. There's no such thing as naturally muscular. For real? Arm wrestle? <laughs> no. It's a trap. If I win, you'll complain that I hurt your arm. And if I let you in, I'll be hearing about it for weeks. Ding ding ding! Win by default. See? Naturally muscular. Okay? We need to talk. Should I be worried? Yes. No. Maybe. Promise me you won't be mad. I can't promise anything without knowing what this is about. <sighs> it's about your skidding skills. Oh. <laughs> Let's just say that you could use some extra training. <laughs> okay. Show me. You're not mad? Why would I be mad? I love to learn new things. All right, let's hop on a few threads to practice. <laughs> 